Let's see how to apply act utilitarianism in the trolley example. And let's begin just by quickly reviewing the facts of the example. We know the, travel, the trolley is traveling down the track at 60 miles an hour. Brakes fail. Not going to stop the train. Straight ahead, five people who cannot get out of the way. The trolley driver can turn the trolley to another track, but on that track there's one person who will not be able to get away. Those are the only two options. And the question is, what's the morally right thing for the trolley driver to do, and why? Well, the problem was, how will act utilitarianism support the claim that the right thing to do is to turn the trolley. And remember, we saw the following argument, you know, the turn the trolley argument. If we could save five people by killing one, then the right thing to do is to kill one. Turning the trolley would save five people by killing one. Therefore, the right thing to do is to turn the tro trolley, killing one and saving five people. So the question we're trying to answer is, how would Mill using his theory, act utilitarianism, defend the claim that it's right to turn the trolley? Or another way of putting it is, how, how would he defend this argument? Well, he'd claim that the argument is a good argument, first of all, because the logic is fine. That is, that conclusion follows logically from those two premises. So what he needs to explain is why that first premise, which is a moral premise, if we can save five people by killing one, then the right thing to do is to kill one. Notice it tells you what the right thing to do is in those situations, so it's a moral premise. And why is, you know, and why is that factual premise true? That is, turning the trolley would save five people by killing one. And that's that one's easy enough to defend, so it's really the first one that we're worried about defending in... Well, that we're worried about having Mill defend, that is defending it using act utilitarianism. So I think the way for us to really decide why or claim or defend that first premise for Mill is by looking at the theory of act utilitarianism. And we should start by looking at the fundamental principle of morality, or the criterion of morality, according to Mill's act utilitarianism. And it's just stated, AU, an action is right if and only if no action that the agent could have done instead has a higher utility. So what we're going to have to show is that the utility of turning and killing one has a higher utility than any of the alternatives. So with that, let's turn to a calculation of the utility. Now the first thing we need to do is consider what are the alternatives. In this case, the action we're talking about is turning, and the, the only alternative is not to turn. There isn't a third one. And notice which we have to compare the utilities, but remember we know that the utilities are made up by looking at the consequences, the pleasurable consequences, getting a measure of that, and subtracting from that the painful ones. So we're going to want to list the pleasurable consequences and figure out how many hedons of the action its alternative. We're going to want to look at the painful consequences of turning and not turning in terms of dolors, and then to get a utility rating, we're just going to subtract one from the other. So let's take a look at the facts in this case. The facts are, you know, well, let's look at the pleasurable consequences of the two alternatives. Turn. Well, not much pleasure out of that, right? Somebody dies. You know, maybe a reporter is happy. He gets a, he gets a scoop. He gets a story. It's a very small amount of pleasure. One he died. Even he's unhappy about it. In terms of not turning, well, basically, we got the same kind of pleasure. You know, so that not very much. So perhaps the distinction between the two cases is going to be in the painful consequences. So let's look at the painful, painful, painful consequences. Well, if we turn, one person's going to die. So we have the victim's pain. Now, if he dies, there's going to be a funeral, a family's going to be upset, so one family is going to be upset. And to try to put a number on that, let's say it's 
a thousand dollars. Now, in the case of not turning, you're gonna the trolley driver is gonna run down five people. So there's gonna be the pain of the five victims being killed. In addition to that, there's going to be five families and friends, sets of friends who are upset. So it's going to be about five times worse. So we'll put the number at five thousand dollars. Okay. So now to get the utility of the act turning, the act of turning and not turning, we're just going to have to do the math. So subtract. Um, a thousand dolors from one heat on, we're going to get a utility of minus 999. And in the case of turning, not turning, five victims, five families, we're going to end up with a utility of 4,999. So we see that the utility of turning is going to be, and remember they're both negative numbers, much higher. The minus 999 is going to be a much higher utility than the minus almost 5,000 because that's really bad. So the FIAC that has the highest utility is to turn in this case. And notice that's going to be the way it works out in just about every case. So if we go back and take a look at the moral principle that we're talking about, we're looking at premise number one. If we can save five people by killing one, then the right thing to do is to kill one. Well, why is that the right thing to do? Well, the right thing to do, defined by the utilita act utilitarian criterion of morality, is to, do, to perform the action that such that no other action the agent could have done instead has a high utility. Which act is that? Minus 9.99 to turn the trolley in that case. Okay, so the right thing to do in any of these cases, going back to premise number one, saving the five, if we can save the five people, we see that has a much lower utility than just killing the one. So killing the one has the higher utility, and according to act utilitarianism, it's the right thing to do. In other words, premise one is true, and that's why the right thing to do in this case is to turn the trolley according to John Stuart Mill.